This short video is to show how I paint my coal wagons to look like this. I am utilising a Pico coal wagon kit. Materials required Umbral enamel matte black, Umbral enamel orange, Umbral enamel gunmetal, Umbral enamel RAF blue, Umbral enamel rust. Umbral enamel matte white, Phoenix precision enamel British Rail freight grey, Umbral mascol, Glossom matte varnish, enamel thinners, appropriate decals, appropriate brushes, tweezers, and finally masking tape. First paint the body a rust colour. This is a mixture of matte, black, orange and rust. Ensure the paint is well mixed. Blend the three colours together on a palette. Apply to the inside and outside of the wagon body. When complete, leave to fully dry. When fully dry, apply a second coat of rust colour, as per stage one. Again, when completed, leave to fully dry. The next stage is to apply the mascal masking fluid to the areas of the body you require the rust patches. Study photographs of the wagons to see where the rust patches tend to materialise. Apply the mascal to the areas of rust as required and leave to dry. When the mascal masking fluid has fully dried, we then apply by brush the livery top coat. In this case, I am using Phoenix Precision BR Early Freight Wagon Grey. This is applied by brush to the outside of the wagon body only. Apply it to the full body sides, including covering fully the mascal applied earlier. Again, when complete, leave to fully dry. In the next stage, after the paintwork has fully dried, we carefully remove the mask all applied earlier. For this, I use a pair of tweezers. It is sometimes tricky to find the areas you have covered, especially very small ones. So take your time on this stage and search carefully. We now start with the work of weathering the body. 
First we are going to highlight the edge of the rusty patches we have exposed when the mask on was removed. First I start by mixing on the palette the following. Rust 113, Orange 82. Mixed at around 60% rust, rust to 40% orange. When mixed, apply the paint by dry brushing techniques to the edge of the brown rust patches and extend slightly with the grey body paintwork. When complete, put to one side to fully dry. We are now going to do a little more work to the external rust patches and the internal body to give some contrast to these areas. I start by mixing on the palette the following in varying proportions. Rust 113, Orange 82. When mixed, apply the paint by dry brushing techniques to the brown rust patches on the external sides of the body, followed by the internal body sides. Again, when complete, put to one side to fully dry. We now apply the last of the dry brushwork to the body. This is applied to the remaining areas of the wagon's body that have not already received some form of dry brushing. I start by mixing on the palette the following in varying proportions. Gunmetal 53, RAF Blue 96, Matte Black 33, Orange 82. When mixed, apply the paint by dry brushing techniques to the remaining areas of the body. For this, I use a well worn and stiff brush. However, any brush type can be used. When complete, put to one side to fully dry. We now apply the white stripes to indicate the end doors. This can be applied as a decal, however, I prefer to paint them. First, mask up the sides as shown. Then apply matte white 34 by semi-dry brushing or dry brushing, depending how evident you want the stripe to be. Painting, remove the masking tape and leave to dry. A later wash coat will mask the brightness. When fully dry, it is time to apply the decals. This has been omitted from this video. Next, we give the body a dirty wash coat. This coat is the final finish to the wagon body. I suggest you start off with a very light coating 
and after it has fully dried, apply additional coats until you achieve the level of dirt you require. To do this, I mix the following paints on the palette. Metal 53, RF Blue 96, Rust 113 and Matte Black 33. The paint mix is then thinned down utilising enamel thinners, followed by applying to the wagon sides by a brush. If applied too thick, further thinners should be applied to the body side. When complete, leave to fully dry. When fully dry, the whole of the body can now be given a coat of matte varnish, both inside and outside, again leaving to fully dry. We now move on to the final stage, painting the chassis. The finish I am looking for is a rusty sludge. I start by mixing on my palette the following in varying proportions. Gunmetal 53, RAF Blue 96, Matte Black 33, Rust 113, Orange 82. When mixed, I apply the paint by brush to the chassis including the couplings if so required. When complete, put to one side to fully dry. When dry, carefully apply matte white 34 to the brake handles and again leave to dry. Finally, give the chassis a coat of matte varnish. If you desire appropriate weathering powders, may be brushed into the varnish to give some subtle variations. Your wagon is now complete.